Hey, Gary Bernier from the Business Growth Guys here. And today I want to walk you through how to create a campaign in Infusionsoft. So I've got another video that sort of gives you a quick tour of what uh, the key feature of Infusionsoft is, which is the campaign builder. But today I'd like to take you through the tour of actually creating a little campaign. So I'm in under marketing, I'm in the campaign builder, and I'm going to click the green create campaign. And let's just do this as BGG YouTube video campaign. And we'll hit save. And you notice we get a blank slate. So like most tools, you start from the beginning. So let's start with a goal. And the first thing I can choose from is somebody submitting a web form, which for most of you web markers will be the most common thing. Um, landing page form, you can now separate the two out. Clicks on a link, so you can actually have this tied to a particular link. Uh, reaches a particular score, this is a feature inside Infusionsoft that is uh, each time somebody interacts with you, you can increase their score, purchases a product from you, submits an internal form. This is with you and your team. If you're using a form as part of your internal process, completes a task. So if people have to complete a task, it can then kick off another series of events. And similarly, if they apply a note, that can also kick off uh, another set of events. So let's start with a basic web form. And let's see, let's put a name on this. Uh, signs up for, or actually let's do it this way. Request lead magnet. And if we double click it, it'll actually bring up a design page and we can determine whether we want the first name to be required or not. So we'll take the first name, but we're going to turn off the requirement and email and I'm going to take off the requirement. And the reason I would do that is typically I don't use Infusionsoft's forms on my actual websites. I either use ClickFunnels or lead pages to do my landing pages. Um, and both of those applications work much better uh, if it's not required at this level, but it is required in their front end. So they're going to tie into this form that I built. Um, so I build the form here, but both Lee's pages and ClickFunnels uh, tie into Infusionsoft and will feed into this form directly. And if I needed to add more um, options here, I could easily add more to my form. If I wanted to use Infusionsoft, I can actually create the thank you page. I can get very complicated, but for now, this is good enough. Now, one of the key things in Infusionsoft is everything starts as a draft. So if you want it to be live, you have to flip the switch. You have to turn it to ready. Okay, so I'll turn that to ready and I'm gonna go back out. So they've changed the navigation, which is quite nice. I can move up and down levels in the left uh, menu bar now. This is new and it's a, it's a nice improvement. If I wanna see what this is about, I just click on the little icon in the bottom and I get my name and again, I can see it's there. And again, if I double click it, I'll end up back where I was a second ago. So that's how I navigate inside this tool. Um, you'll notice that this arrow comes up. It wants to link to the next thing in the campaign, which is great. And the sequence is just a box for holding a collection of items. So I'm gonna connect the request. It comes into our sequence. When this goal is achieved, it either stops immediately or runs until completed. I like runs until completed. So I click save. So it's gonna run this sequence until it's completed. I can change my name. So I can then send my follow-up emails. And again, it gives me a start button now you'll notice that the selection that I have to work with is quite different. I have a series of timers. I have a delay timer, a date timer, a field timer, email, voice, fax, letter. These are things that I can make happen to communicate with my prospect or customer. 
And then I've got process stuff. I can apply a tag in Infusionsoft. I can apply a note, create a task for somebody to do something, create an appointment, set a field value. This is new and I really like that one. Assign who it belongs to, build a fulfillment list, um, send an HTTP post. That's one you probably won't use very often. I have found a use for that one. Um, so it's cool for integrations, but not your typical. And then you've got Action Set, which is actually a legacy uh, system that predated the campaign system, right? And then you've got the ability to put notes in your document, right? So let's just add note and send my five email welcome series. Cool, that's what this is going to do. Let's go back up to communications. And oh, actually, let's put a timer in and uh, okay I'll start I'm gonna apply a tag right off the bat so let's say somebody filled out the free keyword report I'm gonna apply the key for free keyword report tag great now I know they filled out the free keyword report cool now let's send them an email and then I think we'll wait a day. So I'll change that to one day on a weekday at 8 a.m. Yeah, that's probably a good time. And then we'll send them another email. And then we can do the same thing. We can add another timer. And I'm just going to skip a bunch of steps here. This does take a little bit to get all fine-tuned. All right, so in this email, I'm going to create the content. So again, I double-click on the item, and it'll bring me into the email editor. And again, this is the my ugly default template. I can quickly change that. Um, so I can turn on and off the various components over here on the left, and I can actually choose a pre predefined style. So let's go to black. There we go. And this is bringing up my soft skills one. So I should actually bring up my soft skills template. Oops, that one. No, that's this is four. There we go. So you can customize your your templates. Oh, there we go. SSE, SSE logo template. Let's use that one. There we go. So I'm good with that. There's my email. Now, one of the things I want to do is I want to put a link in here just to demonstrate to you the cool feature. And sure, we're going to say they went to great internet advertising. One of the nifty things I can do is then say, um, I can then tag them as saying, okay, they were interested in a certain thing. So um, I've got a blog tag in here. I thought I added a blog tag. Hold on. There we go. So, if they click on the link, it'll automatically apply that. So I've got a, I've got an email, and again, I gotta flip it from draft. Subjects required. Okay. All right. Flip it to ready. Now, one of the things I want to do is I want to come back out of here and set another goal, and I can say, clicks a link, and it's contacts in this campaign, and my goal will be clicked the link, very simple connect this up and it'll figure out that I want to know that one was clicked now I could have it on this one I could have it on the unsubscribe so you can put different uh, you can use any link can be clickable for a goal so I started with a goal I ended with a goal and I put a follow-up sequence together that will apply a tag send an email wait send an email wait send an email and again, it can get much more complicated than this, but that's your basic uh, campaign. And again, I'd have to hit the publish button 
in order to make this live and all of the things would have to be flipped from draft to real. So those are the types of things that you can do with inside the campaign. I gave you a pretty simple overview. It can get much more complicated, but your campaign becomes complicated and your life becomes simple. And the reason that happens is because you're adding automation to your life. This all runs in the background. This all happens, in my favorite word, automagically. So people are getting emails, people are going through your campaigns, they're getting all the little steps. And once you've put them in place, it actually makes it pretty easy to go in and adjust your processes and make changes and tune it and fix little things because you can actually see what's going on. You also create a high level of consistency in your messaging. This is a fantastic way to get time back in your business is to set up automation. Subscribe. Don't miss out on any other videos and we'll talk to you soon.